On this week's episode of Game Shack, I talk about a big price cut from IR Arcade, Simpsons rumors from Arcade 1UP, and some news about virtual pinball from At Games. All that and more coming up next. Hey everybody, it's JDV here for EvilGeniusEntertainment.com. Thank you for stopping by the Game Shack. It really does mean a lot to us. Speaking of that, it would mean a lot to us if you went and checked out our first three episodes of Reanimated, our zombie show here, because episode four is coming out this Memorial Day weekend, and we would love for you guys to go over and check that thing out. Okay, a little news uh, about about retro board games, and that is uh, because Restoration Games Return to Dark Tower or Dark Tower 2 is now in the very final stage before full production. They have come out with their finalized production run. They have come out with the first machine and they're just testing it to make sure it fits in the packaging and make sure it turns on and all that kind of good stuff. But presuming that it does and that they work out whatever little kinks there are, they will be going to production probably as soon as next week, which means we probably aren't going to get the game in July, as they said, but as yours truly predicted, we may very well get it in August or early fall, and I think that would be pretty great for fans of that game. I'll keep you guys updated when I hear more. In retro video game news, At Games has sold out Waves 7 and 8 of their virtual pinball games, Lickety Split, I think within a couple of hours for each one. And that's interesting because, of course, those Waves uh, had the new price increase, uh, but also the uh, codes for the included Zakaria lineup. I continue to be impressed by the Ad Games Legendary Pinball game. It really is an amazing machine. I still haven't even played through all of the tables, and I continue to find new tables that are, are gems. It really is the king of the hill when it comes to virtual pinball for under $1,000, and, and maybe just period. I did a little side-by-side -side comparison just for myself on video, comparing my Zen kind of setup on my DIY pinball table versus the Alp. And I got to tell you guys, it really is becoming even more clear to me that the games that Zen have, some of them are beautiful and they all sound fantastic, but they really do feel more like like video games, like, like a toy almost. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some of those games are just fantastic and have super play value. Those Star Wars games are great. But it really is a, a different experience, and it's one that if you are a true pinball aficionado, you really do want to take a look, a hard look at that at Games Legendary Pinball game, even though they do have a price increase. In terms of Arcade 1UP, it's been suspiciously quiet on their front. Um, really, uh, there has been nothing new come out, at least as far as I've heard about the Simpsons cabinet that we anticipate will be announced within the next two or three weeks. Clearly, there is a lot of interest in this cab. I just wonder at what price point they do come out with it at. Will it be $400, $500, $600? We don't know yet, and how many games are going to be included. So it will be very interesting to me to see as a sign of the times what if it's announced, what price will the Simpsons cabinet be? And speaking of pricing, that does bring us to the main topic of the week and the big news of the week, which is iArcade slashing their prices for their bar top and full size model by $100 each. The bar top will go for $4.99 and the full size for $6.99. And in that price, you get free shipping. So that's really about a $200 reduction in terms of overall cost to you the consumer. I believe that this indicates the fact that maybe the strategy at our arcade has shifted now from really selling you hard on the quality of the cabinet versus, yes, we have a very nice cabinet, but what we can do that nobody else can do, and this is true, is that we can offer you on demand a la carte gaming. But they are saddled to the most expensive multi cade in this market segment. And so I guess that is my question for you guys. How interested are you guys in this cabinet now that it has a big sale? Is it something that you've been on the fence about but now you want to get? Or do you, do you agree with me in that, no, I, I still want to see this machine's price come down. I know it is a premium cabinet, but it's also still a pretty small cabinet. 
at a 19 inch screen and a kind of an arcade uh, one up style controller deck is still too small for me to comfortably play a two player side scrolling or beat em up or fighting game with any of my adult male friends. It's just we're not going to be able to fit around that machine and have a lot of fun. And that is where the At Games uh, Ultimate really does have a massive advantage over the AI Arcade and really everything else in this segment. So really why, at least in my opinion, why you'd be buying this game is really more as a single player and because you can download those games. I don't really care about 100 watt speakers. I mean, the speakers on these other systems are just fine. I mean, you are, after all, only a foot away from the machine. And I, frankly, I would rather see a cheaper made machine, say something around $400 to $500, but having those same games on there and the ability to have the a la carte buying. I mean, right now, this system only comes with 11 games. Heck, even the arcade one-up legacy cabs have more games than that. And of course, the ALU has a lot more games, as in hundreds of more games available. So it really is a kind of an interesting thing. And yes, I, would, I love that service. I love the a la carte buying possibilities, but I don't want to pay $700 for it. I just don't. And yes, I know it has a better processor, but there has to be some way to get this price down even lower. Well, what do you guys think? Am I crazy for wanting this price to drop lower even as prices are rising in other places of the world on almost everything electronic? Or no, do you think that $700 is a fair price to pay? And do you think that this sale is gonna be something that continues on down the line? I suspect, that the sale will either at the very least happen a lot more or they might even cut the price here's hoping to that well anyway that wraps up this week and this episode here in the game shack if you like this sort of content please give me a thumbs up on the way out it really does help the channel love each other and until next time i'll see you guys in the game shack Mwah! be sure to visit evilgeniusentertainment.com for exclusive content swag casting call news, and much, much more.